So this is a mock-up uh, prototype for a communal toilet system. So this is a paper entry system. So which means that uh, there will be an owner uh, and also operator. So we need the business model is that this operator owns the system. He makes a living from this system and he maintains the system to make sure it's in good working condition. Yes. Let's go. Up. I need to get a coin for you. Okay. I need to get some. Okay. So you put a coin inside here, then you enter the toilet. Okay, so this is the toilet system. You can see that it is a three channel urine diversion toilet. So the front portion is the urine channel, the middle portion is the feces, and the back is the cleansing one. Now, this is uh, it was designed specifically for India because they, they usually don't use toilet paper, so they prefer cleansing. So we have a water tank where we hold the recycled water, both for cleansing and also hand washing. And we need to consider the user behavior, especially we, for the uh, cleansing water. We need to design such that it's not too long. So he, for the user, when he uses a toilet, of course he will squat in front to do the business, right? Okay, do the business. After that, he need to wash. He has to move back to wash. So this tube cannot be too long. Otherwise, they will refuse to move back. So this has to take into consideration. So we force them to move backwards in order to channel the cleansing water back. So these are, we have to factor the user behavior inside the system. Now, how does we convey this, uh, yes, the feces out of the toilet system? We, we use a mechanical driven. Any user come into a toilet must exit the toilet. All right, so when we turn this exiting door, okay, you see that the conveyor belt is moving, okay? The conveyor belt is moving, all right. So, so we mechan mechanically connect it to the conveyor system, all right. Okay. So that is how we transfer the feces out of the system to the uh, solar drying portion and also the uh, collection point for pyrolysis. So right here you can see that uh, we have a, a conveyor press. The feces come in is uh, can be a lump. It's a lump. You see, it's a lump of, of feces. So through this conveyor, we can uh, press it to a very thin cake layer, so that we can use a Fresnel lens, all right, to uh, to. Uh, dry the feces okay, okay that's the so you'll find that the, for this solar freshener lens we use a solar tracker okay it is connected to a motor so it can uh, it will tilt 90 perpendicular to the sun automatically all right so that's how we control this freshener lens now how about the people who has uh, diarrhea okay the liquid or fe liquid thicker you find that below this conveyor there's a tray and this conveyor is tilt, all right, slightly, so that any liquid will be thrown and collect under the the uh, tray. So of course the user will have to, depending on how much water you have, and the cleansing water can be channeled through this, and you can use it to flush to the exit at the back of the conveyor system. Comes with the feces from the. And we have a hand handle to override so that we can uh, the operator can uh, pull, can uh, manually operate the to, to the stainless steel uh, conveyor belt to channel it manually. 
Now, down here is a stove. So this is the part that we need the operator to do the combustion. All right. So you see that there are three stoves here in this design. All right. When it's very heavy, when it's heavy now, when it's full, the the stove will go downwards. Okay, it will go downwards. All right. That will trigger a flag system. You see the flag at the back here. This is just a mock-up. The actual flag has to be higher. So normally when it's empty, the flag is down. All right. Because the operator may be running around to do a few system. All right. He may not be stationary here permanently. All right. So when the when the stove is full, the flag will be activated. So from far you can see, oh my toilet system is up. Okay, it's time for me to come and do my manually turning of the stove. All right. So that is the, how we design it. Now the urine will come to a temporary storage tank, and we then transfer the urine combustion tank as we combust the feces, the pyrolysis combustion. Urine will be uh, evaporated, the water evaporated, condensed, and we have a. Uh, biofilter system, all right. Um, and you see, it's on the other side. This man just pushes a. So down here, you can see that the this is a condensed condensate tank. Yeah. The water will flow through into a biofilter system. Inside here, we have a uh, sand and geolite. This serves as the absorption of the ammonia and COD and organics that is left in trace amount in the condensate. So the water coming out from this system is non-detectable ammonia. All right, so it's very effective. And with that water, we have a temporary holding tank and we dis disinfect it with chlorine. And we have a solar pump to pump it up to the water storage tank at the back. Which layer is the geolite? Yeah. Geolite is at the bottom. Yeah, the white color one is the geolite. How do you spell it? Z Z Z E O L I T E G E O. It's a, some kind of uh, burnt clay. Yeah. Right. This white one here. Yes, the white color one. Yes. All right. So so that is how our whole system works. All right. And uh, and we also consider the cleansing water treatment. So you see the three rectangular uh, setup here. It's a mock up. Is microbial fuel cell, all right? So as long as organics uh, present, well, it will uh, generate electricity, and you can see that there's a fan somehow, turning. Somehow, okay. <laughs> so this uh, is a uh, electricity produced by microorganism, and in this microbial fuel cell. So our concept is that the uh, this fan can be attached to a ventilation system for the toilet system. And we also explore looking at the fall osmosis process where, whereby the treated water will enter the bottom and we use uh, hydrogel okay, to absorb the water through and in order to recover the water we can put uh, the heat source from the combustion into this stainless steel system where the whole metallic structure will be heated up and that will achieve evaporation and we can condense down the water. So that's another technology we are exploring. Now, the other another uh, area that we are looking into is also uh, disinfection technology, which is using UV LED system. All right. So that is uh, a prototype of the UV LED. And uh, maybe hold on for a second. Maybe I will ask my colleague to explain. I think it's more elegant because you don't keep adding things. Yeah, yeah. Wait, let, yeah. Me, let me yeah. explain to them wait, for a while. Oh. Okay, so uh, what I want to show you here is a UV LED uh, disinfection system. And this system also can offer you organic pollutants decomposition at the same time. And what you can see from this video, basically this is a blue color in front. Okay, mimicking some like uh, organic matter, meth methanol blue in this case, and go to our system in the laboratory, the same size, and come out, you are able to see this col colorless effort. So this is a demonstration telling you that we take care of organic matter, it can be decomposed, and of course this system is perfect for disinfection as well, which means we can kill the bugs. And it can be utilized, this is a system by itself, it can be utilized very perfectly for this urine recycling purposes as a washing water. 
Okay, since the water is going to be contact by people, you know, when they are doing washing, so we feel that pathogen definitely need to be removed and UV disinfection is a good choice. UV LED is very low energy consuming that kind of lamp technology, much longer working hours than the current UV technology in the market. So in the way that we can use solar energy to drive and we use a little bit energy to drive and we can achieve this disinfection perfectly. And on top of that, this system also can be used for other purposes, like drinking water treatment and wastewater treatment as well. So basically, this is a, some uh, lab uh, system, prototype, demonstration, to be potentially used for this uh, toilet project. Yeah, so we bring you here to showcase this could be the upcoming technology. Yeah, probably in one or two years time, you are able to see in the market. So it's a very nice, uh, very nice, interesting <laughs> kind of a showcase of this uh, technology's potential. Thank you. Thank